Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Safriya Palace, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Al Quds Fund and Endowment, His Royal Highness Prince Sirkil Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the accompanying delegation upon his visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the custodian of the two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and their wishes for further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty asked His Royal Highness to convey his greetings to the Saudi monarch and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and his wishes of good health and happiness to the Saudi monarch and further progress and prosperity to Saudi Arabia and its people. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Sirki and thanked him for his visit highlighting the great and noble efforts of uh, the fun. His Majesty also praised uh, the strong and historical brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and their people and the mutual keenness to further develop them in all fields. His Majesty praised the humanitarian role of the fund and its efforts in supporting the Palestinians and alleviating their suffering through projects, programs and services. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support of the goals of the fund uh, which reflects Bahrain's firm stances towards the Palestinian cause. His Majesty highlighted in this regard the role of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation led by the representative of his Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs is Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in implementing a number of development and humanitarian projects and providing aid to Palestinians as well as brotherly and friendly countries. His Royal Highness Prince Turkey briefed his Majesty on the goals of the fund in providing economic and social assistance and basic needs. He praised the efforts and the humanitarian issues of his Majesty the King in supporting the Palestinian people in various circumstances and hailed the role of Bahrain in these fields. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and the Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd J. Austin III. Both parties discussed the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. and the importance of bolstering cooperation and coordination in issues of common interest. Most notably, regional developments were also reviewed. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of further strengthening efforts that support regional safety and stability, exercising restraint and de-escalation. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 22 of the year 2028, which regulates trade concerning authorized distributors in a way that strengthens and promotes competitiveness for the benefit of consumers and empowers Bahraini business owners to provide products and services and develop the national economy based on a proposal by the Minister of Industry and Commerce and following the approval of the Cabinet. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs is Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Al Quds Fund and Endowment, His Royal Highness Prince Sirkil Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and members of and on the task sidelines of Bahrain's hosting of the third meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Al Quds Timkin Fund. His Highness praised the humanitarian efforts taken by His Royal Highness Prince Turkey and the fund in supporting and enhancing the empowerment of the Palestinian brothers in Jerusalem, wishing the fund success in achieving its noble humanitarian goal. His Royal Highness Prince Turkey praised the efforts of His Majesty the King in supporting humanitarian work and the prominent role that the Kingdom undertakes in the support of the brotherly and friendly people in various humanitarian circumstances, especially the Palestinian people. His Royal Highness also praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in leading humanitarian work provided by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, which reflects the Kingdom's efforts in spreading peace and supporting brotherly and friendly people. He expressed his honour and all the members of the Board of Trustees of the Fund to meet with His Highness and 
and uh, for Bahrain to host the third meeting of the Fund's Board of Trustees, thanking His Highness for the generous hospitality and warm reception. The PDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the Minister of Defense of the Netherlands, Kaiza Ulu Nakhran, in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi. The Commander-in-Chief welcomed the Minister praising the development and progress of the friendly relations between Bahrain and the Netherlands in various fields. The Representatives Council held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Ahmed Al Msalam. The session discussed and approved the following a report of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee on amending some provisions of the evidence law in civil and commercial matters, a report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on the proposed law establishing the National Fund for SMEs support, the report of the Services Committee on amending the law on social and cultural association clubs, private bodies working in the field of youth and sports and private institutions, in addition to the report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on uh, the proposal on housing. The Public uh, Prosecution took the initiative to submit a proposal to draft and adopt a document that includes a set of principles related to the ethics of using artificial intelligence applications in prosecution work. The proposal came in line with the ongoing digital transformation and the necessity of gradually activating artificial intelligence and its technologies in judicial work while ensuring that the use of these technologies does not violate individual rights and freedoms at the local and international levels. The initiative resulted in the adoption by the Public representatives and public prosecutors, pr prosecutors of the GCC countries of this ethical document for artificial intelligence. Blessed rain spread throughout the various governors of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom witnessed moderate and heavy thunderstorms that began last night, accompanied by strong gusts of wind, and the rainfall continued in various regions of the Kingdom at varying intervals. With the beginning of this day, the rain continued, affected by clouds from the west, where rain fell with different intensity and it was thundery at times, accompanied by very rapid gusts. Citizens and residents received this blessing with joy and turning to Allah the Almighty to make it a source of mercy for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Engineer Wal al Mbarak made inspection tours in a number of regions of the kingdom to follow up on the efforts of emergency teams to deal with the rain waves. He was briefed on the work of the emergency teams during the last hours by securing tanks and pumps distributed according to rainwater collection areas in various governments. Al Mbarak affirmed the presence of emergency teams around the clock to ensure that the approved procedures for draining rainwater collections are followed in coordination and cooperation with the Ministry of Works, the Civil Defense, the Capital municipality and municipal councils. He renewed his call to citizens, residents and visitors to report any emergency via the municipal hotline 8000-8188 as well as uh, to deal with rain according to the instructions and directives issued by the concerned official authorities. 
The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, has inspected major roads in Bahrain to monitor readiness for potential rainfall accumulations and ensure smooth traffic movement and safety. He affirmed that the ministry is working to secure traffic movement on main streets. He said that the ministry is cooperating with the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and other concerned authorities, providing pumps and distributed tanks in various locations to deal with rainwater accumulation. The ministry urged citizens, residents, and visitors to report rainfall accumulations on main streets via the hotline 175-45544. The Ministry of Works emphasizes the importance of adhering to certain guidelines to ensure the proper functioning of the sewage network, especially during periods of rainfall. Joint emergency teams between the Ministry of Works and the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture work 24 hours a day as part of an integrated plan to maintain the safety of the road network and deal with rainwater accumulations. More in this report. A proactive plan was drawn up and inspection tours were carried out, enabling the joint work teams between the Ministry of Works and the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture to carry out the work at full capacity from the first moments of the rain, which contributed to maintaining the smooth flow of roads and the safety of traffic on the main streets across the kingdom. Great and continuous efforts are made following the provision of specialized and emergency teams around the clock with appropriate devices to monitor rainwater accumulations and deal with them immediately to secure the main road network and tunnels by securing tanks and pumps distributed according to the water collection points. The emergency teams are present around the clock to ensure that approved procedures are followed for draining rainwater collections to ensure the smooth flow of traffic on main streets and roads and the safe performance of sewage networks and electricity and water stations with the aim of providing the best services at all times. The Ministry of Education announced the extension of the suspension of studies in all educational institutions, including public and private schools, higher education institutions, nurseries and kindergartens for Wednesday and Thursday and resuming next Sunday. The Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jama, affirmed that the ministry attaches the utmost importance to the security and safety of students. The ministry was also keen to establish a comprehensive inspection and follow-up program as a permanent policy during the rainy season in line with best international practices in operating in order organizing educational institutions. The ministry stated that the specialized teams work to follow up the necessary procedures to survey all buildings and facilities in all educational institutions with the aim of ensuring their safety, readiness and free of any effects resulting from the heavy rain that the country witnessed. The concerned directorates at the Ministry of Interior began uh, their intensive efforts to deal with the repercussions of the heavy rains. The operation directorates, in coordination with the police directorates and the four governors, civil defense and traffic, has taken field measures to help citizens and residents manage their affairs and urgently deal with rainwater accumulation in cooperation with the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and the Ministry of Works. The General Directorate of Traffic dealt with various reports that included directing traffic accidents, towing broken down vehicles, organizing traffic movements and taking the necessary measures to ensure the smooth flow of traffic. The Coast Guard called on seafarers to take caution and adhere to the preventative guidelines. Within the framework of maintaining public safety and in furtherance of the community partnership strategy, the departments of the Ministry of Interior continue their intensive efforts to deal with heavy rains in the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to maintain the security and safety of citizens and residents. These intensive security efforts are present everywhere to secure the roads. The General Administration of Civil Defense has also begun using pumps to withdraw rainwater in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and the Ministry of Works. The General Traffic Department organized traffic, secured roads, handled all reports it received, and took the necessary measures to facilitate traffic, ensuring the protection of lives and property, and ensuring the flow of traffic. In light of the necessary measures to deal with the rain, these field plans will contribute to returning the situation in the streets and residential areas back to normal. And further news under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhr, honored the winners of the Entrepreneurship Award 2024. More on this report. Entrepreneurship is the basis of economic development and prosperity in the kingdom, 
and celebrating the achievements of distinguished entrepreneurs demonstrates a steadfast commitment to supporting and enhancing a conductive environment to enable emerging companies to develop. Team Bahrain is actively engaged in enhancing the entrepreneurial ecosystem within the kingdom through institutions that support entrepreneurship by adopting innovative initiatives within the framework of the SME's development board. Bahrain's commitment to promoting a culture of entrepreneurship and creating an encouraging environment for businesses by providing supportive programs and advanced infrastructure. The Entrepreneurship Award 2024 was organized by the Tatai Hindu Merchants Community in the presence of a number of ministers, senior officials and guests. The awards categories cover women in the fields of science, technology, engineering and mathematics, the best startup company, the entrepreneur of the year and the best innovation and technology business of the year. The president of Djibouti, Ismail Omar, received the credentials of Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa as ambassador extraordinary and a plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Djibouti, residing in Riyadh. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their wishes of good health to the president and to the people of Djibouti, further progress and prosperity. For his part, the president asked uh, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and his wishes of good health and happiness happiness to them, expressing Djibouti's aspirations to raise the level of bilateral relations and develop them in various fields for the benefit of the two brotherly countries and people.